Hello everyone, today we are joined with Ms. Celine from Diploma Logistic Management and I'm going to ask a few questions from student perspective. Hello everyone, I'm Celine Francis. Uh, I am the program coordinator and also the lecturer for the students in Diploma in Logistics Management and I'm very excited to answer a few of your questions as well. Mm -hmm. My first question is, what is logistics? Okay, so logistics, if you, let's say we refer to a lot of books and also journal and articles, you will find a lot of words like planning, implementation, coordination and monitoring. But in a simpler way, to put it for you to make it more understandable, I would say that it's the art of connecting the dots of the delivery. It means that how you are going to connect or how you are going to deliver an item from the point of origin to the destination. For example, if you are ordering an item all the way from Japan, how you are going to to get it to your doorstep. So the entire process of transporting the item, that is what we call it as a logistics. My second question is, can you explain the meaning of logistics management? Okay, so when it comes to management, it's the art of planning, coordination and also monitoring the entire process and there will be a lot of people inside the particular field. So logistics uh, management is the important part in the supply chain management. It's like the puzzle that connects everything and makes the entire supply chain of that company or almost every structure. The third question is, what are the advantages of this program? Okay, so if let's say the students are pursuing Diploma in Logistics Management, I would say that first of all, they will have a lot of skills and knowledge about the real world of logistics. They will know more about import, export, transportation, warehousing, inventory, you name it, any, any category of the logistics, they will know about it and they will know extra miles of it as well. Apart from the knowledge, of course, you can get a better job in a good companies or MNCs and we know that there's a lot of logistics company. So when we are talking about logistics, we are not only talking about the road transportation, we are talking about the maritime transportation, we are talking about the air transportation and also rail transportation. Almost it's like a essential part of, a, it's an essential activity, economic activity of uh, entire world. So I would say that when you are pursuing in diploma in logistics, you have a bright future and you will have a lot of knowledge about it as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is the duration of the study? Okay, in Vision, a Diploma in Logistics, uh, it will take around 2.5 years, 2.5 years where you will be having uh, 5 long semesters and 2 short semesters accordingly. My next question is, what programs are suggested for students to take after this diploma? So basically, some of the students would prefer to have a real life experience where they wanted to work first. But if let's say the student want to continue their studies, I would prefer them to go for a degree such as Bachelor's in Logistics Management, Bachelor's in Supply Chain Management, Bachelor's in Business Administration, Majoring in Logistics, International Business and so on. Okay, my next question is, is logistic management an important element in business? Yes, definitely it's the most important element of a business. Normally, when you are referring into an organization or business structure, they will always call logistic as a glue or the heartbeat of the business because uh, imagine you're having a company but you don't have a transportation system or the people to coordinate import and export. So it is almost impossible for you to make the business to run smoothly. So you need to have the logistics there in order to make sure all of your items are reaching your customer at on point with the low cost as possible. Does this program have practical? No, we don't have a practical or internship in this course at Vision. So that's why our duration period is just 2.5 years and normally the students will get their job right after their final semesters or some students will proceed with their degree studies after that. Based on my research, mm -hmm. students are required to study the subject of movement of goods. Yeah. So in short, what is the meaning or or uh, subjectivity of the subject first. Okay. okay, so basically if you look at the subject name, it's the it's all about movement of goods. Mm -hmm. It's like how you are going to move and an item. For example, you are a car manufacturer, how are you going to move? It's not like you just produce everything and move. No, yeah. you need to have the planning. You need to have the temporary storage. We call it as a warehousing. You need to have the team that's going to plan. We call it as a planner teams. We will have somebody called the import and export executive that is solely responsible in coordinating all of the movement. So 
During this period, they will learn about the inventory, warehousing process, uh, transportation processes, the modes, the carrier selection, what is the best possible way or what is the best alternative in order to send an item accordingly. So this is what they will learn in the movement of good subject. I see. What is the most challenging subject for this program? Okay, that's a kind of subjective as well. Some students will say business mathematics is the hardest. Mm. And while some, some people will say no means a fundamental of transport is the hardest and some say port management is hardest. It varies according to the students. But personally, when I see, uh, I feel that the first semester student, the one that is coming fresh out from the SPM, mm. they find it a little bit hard because of the culture shock. From everything based on the final examination and then now you have need to focus on the continuous assessment like assignment, quiz, midterm. So since they are not very used with this culture, they will struggle a little bit during the first semester. But with the aid of the lecturers in the vision, I find I feel that many of them get A's and they will have a very good moral boost up after that. And then I can see they have a better performance in their upcoming semester like semester two and semester three. And I feel like they know how to cope it already. So there's no such thing as a very hard subject in logistics management. It's all about the effort and how much you put to achieve it. Okay, okay, that's, that was a very good one. <laughs> okay. I think it's a totally relatable uh -huh. as well. My last question, sure. actually. What does it mean by supply chain fear? Okay, supply chain field, normally when we are looking at the context of logistics and supply chain, mm -hmm. these two concepts will come together. So it's like the supply chain is the biggest portion and logistics is the main item that is going to make the supply chain works. So it's like supply chain is the entire business, logistics is the one that's going to move the things. When you're talking about the logistics, you will be talking about the movement of goods. But when you're talking about the supply chain, you will talk about the companies that involve with your companies, much the suppliers, your customers. So end-to-end -end business is controlled by the supply chain. The movement will be controlled by the logistics management. So that's the difference between the supply chain field and logistics field. Oh, okay. okay. That was a very good briefing from Ms. Celine. Thank you so much for spending your time. You are with welcome. Us. So after this, if any of you students want to ask questions, you can refer to Ms. Celine. And all the best. <laughs>